Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals and Rosie Seals is along for the ride. We're moving from the putting green to the salad greens at Putt Shack in Atlanta, Georgia. It's time for a taste test, so let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. Putt Shack is a tech-infused miniature golf course, but it also has a restaurant and bar with quite a fancy and tasty menu. Appetizers include wood-fired Thai octopus, Putt Shack poutine, and more. They also have salads, flatbreads, sandwiches, such as an Atlanta hot chicken sandwich and Hatch chili cheeseburger, and of course, desserts, such as coffee and donuts and Nutella s'mores flatbread. You can also get wine, beer, cocktails, Coke products, it is Atlanta after all, and multiple kinds of Red Bull. McQueen. So, okay, I've got this delicious looking flatbread here. It is seawater infused. I've never had a flatbread like that. Uh, imported Italian sourdough, uh, let's see, premium mozzarella, San Marzano sauce, pepperoni, hot honey drizzle, honeycomb dust, so very honey themed and herb oil microgreens. So you can see those there. So let's give this a try. What do you think? The greens are really good. Add a lot to the pizza. The sauce is kind of, it's a little bit sweet, probably the honey in there. It adds a really good taste to it. Um, this it is a little bit salty from the salt water, I can kind of taste that in there. It leaves a good aftertaste. Pepperonis are good, um, very good flavor. Um, very uh, oily, I think that's the honey oil, but perfect, very good. So Rosie got the same thing, but gluten free. Let's see Rosie. I'm really curious to see what it's going to taste like with the honey drizzle. This is more like a flatbread. Mine is if you more like a, piece, like a thin crust pizza. Yeah. yeah. Mine's more like a thin crust. Yours is like a flatbread. You gotta, you gotta kind of guess what the gluten-free crust is made of. They don't list it, so that's kind of what we do. <laughs> My guess is cauliflower. Excuse me. It's really good. It tastes. It tastes like it's cauliflower base. Hmm. Yeah. One more bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're good. Really good. What kind of what kind of what stands out to you about it? I don't know if it has garlic on it. I didn't say in the thing. They probably they might. But I can right taste it, like garlic base to it. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Got the coffee and donuts. Now this is cream brulee infused with espresso. Let's see. We gotta break it in first, I think. Ooh. Let me just take. That's amazing. I've had cream brulee before. Don't like it. It tastes like a cold coffee cream. It is so good. Rosie, you're gonna have to try this. Let's try this on the on the donut. That's good. We've also got some chocolate. Mm. Rich, creamy. It's like an improved Hershey syrup. Then I think we have a caramel. Mm. Mm. Rich, delicious. And these donuts have cinnamon on them, as you can see, I think. It might just be sugar, I think it's just sugar. But very rich, very sweet, the caramel, perfect caramel. Chocolate, perfect. And this cream brulee, espresso, 
It's such a strong, good coffee flavor. Like not overpowering, but strong and good. Recommend like crazy. Now Rosie, the coffee fanatic. So I cannot have the donuts, unfortunately. They look delicious, but I'm gluten free and I'm feeling so much better for it. So I'm gonna actually try the chocolate. And the espresso. I wanna see what you think. I love coffee. I mm. love that. Let me uh, try some. Let me try some without the chocolate. Yeah, I haven't even tried it with the chocolate. I'm very surprised at how good that is. Mm. I love how I love how it just all blends together, mm -hmm. and the sugar. You can like taste the sugar. It's got like a crunchy sugar to it. Mm. It is amazing with the chocolate. Just going for more. Mm. <laughs> That's what we were eating earlier. Seals of approval. We hope you enjoyed this episode. What is the best donut inspired dessert you have had? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, give us a five star rating by clicking the thumbs up button. Take a bite out of the subscribe button to stay up to date with our culinary adventures. Pass the plate by sharing this video with your friends and hit the bell icon to be notified when videos upload. Make sure to check out our video on the rest of Putt Shack. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. Even a dollar helps, which is about the cost of a beef burrito at Taco Bell. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.